from SimhaYogaLab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website at SimhaYoga.com for the full streaming schedule as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. My preferred way of payment is through Venmo and my handle is SimhaYogaLab and the four digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for it. Uh, classes are $10 and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook um, and then the videos are uploaded as posts and then the same videos are uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. And if you're not actually streaming with me and you're just watching anytime throughout the day, and also if your audio and video are a little bit shaky on your Instagram or Facebook, I highly recommend for you to go to YouTube instead. Uh, YouTube is, again, the channel is Simha Yoga Lab. The audio and video is far superior on that platform, so um, you might have a much better visual experience. You can also pull up the video on your smart TV. So it's just altogether a much better experience, so I highly recommend that, right? So especially if you're not streaming with me. All right, so um, today's class is Intermediate Advanced Lab. It is a level two, level three, so there are a lot of variations here. We move a little faster, perhaps, and a little bit stronger. So if you're newer to the practice, especially if you're new to my practice, I highly recommend for you to always um, be mindful about um, uh, how far you're pushing yourself, right? If I'm a little bit out of your range, definitely try to pull back a little bit and only um, go as far as you feel comfortable with. Really important for you to be mindful about your practice, especially if you have any injuries or limitations, right? Always consider what is appropriate, what is not appropriate for your practice, right? Um, all right, so for those of you with tighter hips, I recommend elevation, sitting on a block, sitting on a blanket or a towel are all very good ways for you to elevate, and that makes the seated position a lot more comfortable and accessible. Okay, comfortable cross-legged position. Palms face up. Fingers come together and move around the thumb and index fingers touching. Three arms together in the end. Chin to the right shoulder. 
Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head one direction. Ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center. Take a few more rounds in that same direction. And chin back to center, pause. Opposite direction. And then take it back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine. Coming off the blocks, extend the legs forward, separating the feet. And supporting to either side and turn your toes toward each other. And then roll out. Draw in, go out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling the ankles. Take it back to center, switch them around. And back to center again, cross your shins, opposite shin on top. So this is non-dominant crossing of the legs, arms up high to extend, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, other side. Back to center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back to center again, legs forward, forward fold. Inhale, take it back up, draw the left heel in, right heel back, creating a letter S, left hand support, Right arm is um, parallel to floor, elbows bent. Inhale, draw the right elbow back. Exhale, twist to left. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting here. Keep using the left hand, pressing to the floor. Then take both hands to the floor. Walk your hands slightly further back. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, start to twist deeper as you bow forward about halfway. Inhale at the halfway point. Exhale, bow forward even more, twist even deeper. Looking for the sole of the right foot as your left hand behind you. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Keep the legs as they are. Count to twist to the right. Inhale, take it back to center, switch sides. Right heel comes in, left leg goes back. Right hand to support, left arm is parallel to floor, elbows bent. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, draw the left elbow back. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, back. Exhale, twist. Stay twisting here. Press your right hand strongly to the floor for resistance as you rotate more actively. Take both hands to the floor. You might even adjust to walk your hands slightly further back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist as you bow forward about halfway. Stopping at the halfway point, inhale again. Exhale, twist deeper, allowing the forehead to almost touch down or actually touching down. And looking for the sole of the left foot past your right hand. Inhale, take it back up, keep the legs as they are. Counter twist to the left. Take it back to center. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Grabbing the ankles, stick some gentle butterflies. And then Baddha Draw the heels in closer. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. As you draw forward, press your elbows to your inner thighs if you can. And then taking it further forward into the forward fold. So think the best you can to come to a neutral spine from the crown of the head through the sacrum. So try not to round, try not to back bend, keep it neutral. Alright, once you're ready, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Five times. Lengthen, bend. Lengthen, bend. Lengthen, bend. Slide the legs forward, arms up. And fold. Take it back up. Lower onto your forearms. Keep the chest lifted. Arms are actively pressing down. Bend the knees. Extend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend this time. Bend, slide the legs forward, stay hovering, draw the knees in. Slide the legs forward, draw the knees in. Slide forward, draw the knees in. Slide forward, draw the knees in. Slide forward, draw the knees in. Extend the legs up, lower the heels almost all the way down. Lift and lower. Lift. Lower, two more. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Lower the legs all the way down. Lift back up, arms up, and forward fold. Take it back up, keep the legs extended. Let's take a twist. Right hand behind you, elongate through the spine, and rotate to the right. Inhale back to center, left hand down, right arm to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Take it back to center, hands to the back behind you, bend your knees. Right? Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, bend. Lengthen, bend. Lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend. Lengthen again, keep the legs extended, and lower. Lift, and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. One more, lift, lower all the way down. Arms up high, and forward fold. Take it back up, hands start behind you again, lean back slightly, bend the knees, lift the legs. Keep the left leg up, right heel down. Switch right leg up, switch left leg up, switch. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Legs together, hovering, holding here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, intensify, arms forward, 4, 3, 2, 1, lower the legs, arms up, and fall. Take it back up, bend your knees. Swing the legs back behind you for down dog. All right, take it back to stillness and down dog. Inhale, right heel up, three leg up. 
running toward the nose and round. Stay here. Lift high up on your left tiptoes. Round the spine strong. Knee in toward the nose. Holding. Three. Two. One. Kick the right heel up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Stay here. Stacking up the hips. Right knees reaching up. Left heels reaching down. Strong and pressing the hands down. Raise your right leg up, square off, step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Reach your left hand down, forward and up for warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Lengthen in front of reach up, bend the front knee, warrior two. Lengthen and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Inner reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. You can modify elbow to top leg or right hand down, left arm up. Big circles to the left arm. Reach back, down, forward, and up. Back, down, forward, and up. Back, down. Forward and all the way up into reverse warrior. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back plank. Inhale, breath. Exhale, chaturanga push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee toward the nose. Hold it here. High on the right tiptoes. Rounding up the spine. Knee in toward the nose. Hold it here strongly for another three. Two. And one. Keep the left heel up. Open up the hips. Bend the left knee. Stacking on the hips. Left knee reaching up. Right heel reaching down. Strong pressing against your hands. And then raise your left leg back up, square off, step the left foot forward, warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Right hand down, forward and up, for warrior one. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Lengthen front leg and reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Length and reach up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Modify. Elbow to top of left leg or left hand down, right arm. Big circles with the right hand back. Down, forward, and up. Back, down, forward, and up. Back, down, forward, up, and take it all the way back up. Reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor. Left foot stepping back plank. Inhale, breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, right heel up. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. Right knee to outside the right arm and touch. Holding it here. Again, high up on your left tiptoes, knee to outside the arm for another three, two, and one. Okay, get back up, three with the duck. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one. Reach the arms along inside the body. Lean the torso forward to a diagonal. Ground strongly through the back heel down and lengthen through the spine. On the inhale, reach your arms out and forward. And then on the exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale, swim the arms forward. Exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. As you reach your hands down, forward and up, come back to your warrior one. Wrapping the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers. Lift up, gaze upwards. Exhale, bow forward. Devotional warrior. Release your hands down to the floor, walk them slightly back. Lunge your back to send us in a shape. Lunge your back forward three times. Lunge back. Lunge forward. Lunge back. 
Lunge forward, staying here. Take it back up to warrior two, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg, triangle. Right hand to top of the shin, we modify. Right hand to the floor, we take the full pose. This time, left arm, reaching out to the left side and down toward the floor. And then out to the left side, and rotating up. So rotating through the spine, side and down, side and up. Side and down. Side and up. Inhale, take it all the way back up. Reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back, plank. In on one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Exhale, left knee toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee to outside the left arm and touch, holding it here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Kick back up, three legged dog, step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Arms alongside the body, lean the torso forward to the diagonal, ground firmly through the back heel down. And then on the inhale, reach the arms out and up, swim the arms forward, exhale, swim the arms back. Inhale, swim the arms forward, exhale, swim the arms back, swim the arms forward, swim the arms back. As you rise up, fingertips reach down, forward and up. And then wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, opposite thumb on top, lift upwards, gaze upwards. And then bow forward. Devotional warrior. Staying that forward fold, reach your hands to the floor and walk it back slightly so that you have lots of leverage to then lunge back into the shape of Spandasana and then lunging forward, lunge back, lunge forward. One more time, lunge back. Lunge forward and through the warrior two, I'm uh, sorry, side angle, come up into reverse warrior, lengthen out the left leg, triangle, left hand to top of shin or to the floor, right arm reaching up. Then right fingertips reach out to the right side, down toward the floor, rotating into the spine, reach out and up, reach out and down, reach out and up. Reach out and down, reach out and up, come back to triangle, and then up into reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank, inhale and breath, exhale, chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Bending the knees, jumping forward into your yogi squat. If you want to take a practice handstand to take some hand, uh, hang time, go ahead and take it. All right, release your seat back down. Now, for those of you who have props, whether with a block, or a blanket, right? So if you have a blanket, you just fold it up to like a bolster like this for the inner thighs, right? If you have a block, take the block. If you don't have any props, that's okay. You can just take the inner thighs together. I prefer using blocks now because with this slight resistance and your thighs slightly separated, it's a little bit more comfortable for the hips. Also, having something to squeeze onto makes you work a little harder, okay? So, Squeeze the block with your blankets, lift your shins, and your shins are pretty much parallel to each other, or squeezing in through the inner thigh, so then they should be together, right? So flex your feet, arms forward, hands together in prayer. Take the roundedness out of the spine, and squeeze, holding it here. Three, two, one. Stay here and twist to the right. Three. Two, one. Back to center, twist your left. Three, two, 
One, back center. Extend the legs. Squeeze the legs. Twist right. Three, two, one. Back center. Twist left. Three, two, one. Back center. Step the feet down. Hands back behind you and lift up. So if you have your feet together, separate your feet. Come up into your tabletop. Hold it in here. And release. This time, the block goes to your feet, or do the best you can to hold the bolster of the, of the blanket or your towels, right, to the feet. Again, having something to hold on to forces you to work more evenly, and then with this whole idea of having to hold something makes you work a little harder. If you don't have any props, your feet together, okay? So, flexing your feet, squeeze the inner feet to the sides of the block. Again, first starting with your hands supporting behind you. Shoulders drawn back, shift the weight back toward the sacrum, raise the block, and keeping the knees bent. All right, holding here, one chapter to balance, extending arms forward. All right, this time, arms up and holding it here. Five, four, three, two, one. Lengthen out the legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels, almost all the way down, still covering. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Forward fold. Come back up. Keep the legs extended. Grab your block or your blankets, right? So again, with the blankets, it's the action of pressing your uh, uh, hands toward each other, right? And again, if you're not using any blocks, you're just taking your hands together and pray. Sitting up tall, lengthening, engage your legs. Twisting to the right, back and center five times. Right? Inhale here. Exhale, twist right, back to center. Twist right, back to center. Twist right, three. Twist right, four. Twist right, five. Twist left, center. Left, center. Left, three, left, four, left, five. Arms up and forward. Up and forward and down, right? Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up, stay up here. Shift back toward the sacrum. Bend your knees and extend. Arms forward, arms up. Arms forward, arms up. Arms forward, arms up. Forward and up. One more time. Forward and up. Keep the arms up. Extend the legs. Arms forward, twist right. Back to center. Twist right. Center, right. Back to center, left. Center. Left, center, left, center. Release your legs and the blocks, arms forward and fold. This time I'll face you. You're going to walk your hands slightly back, draw the knees in. You're going to use without blocks this time. Roll to the right, center. Roll to the left, center. Roll right, center. Roll left, center. Right, center. Left, center. Total of 10. Right, center. Left, 5. Right, 6. Left, 6. Right, 7. Left, seven. Right, eight. Left, eight. Right, nine. Left, 
9, right, 10, left, 10. So your feet together, knees apart, walk your feet further forward, grab the inside of the feet, a thread the arms underneath and fold. You can take a rounded back forward fold this time. Release, take it back up, swing the legs back behind you, down, up. And again, taking a yogi squat, you can walk your feet forward, you can simply jump, or you can handstand, or practice handstand to come forward into your yogi squat. I think this time I'm going to try for handstand. Wherever you are in this process, step the left foot back down, right leg stays up for your standing split. And then see this final twist. Right knee behind the left heel, left hand behind you, right arm up, and twist. Stay here. Or, Kodiyasana 1. Start to release, come back down, see the spinal twist, come back to center. Exhale, counter twist. Staying here in the counter twist, Okonyasana 2.
Back to center. Step the left foot forward. Half moon. Once you steady your balance, if you want to start binding, chapasana, one of both hands. Start to step it back. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And again, making your way forward, your choice. Walk with me forward, jump with forward, or handstand, coming to your big squat. Standing on the cheek, right arm up to right side, pressing your right tricep to inner right knee, left arm up and behind you, half bind. You can do the rest of the transition to the half bind, or wrap the right arm around the right shin for the full bind. And then let's start to stand up, gaze to the floor, lift the seat slightly, walk your left arm in towards center. Then, pick up the right foot. Stay standing vertically, bow forward, halfway, bow forward all the way, I'll hook the right foot, right foot to the other left leg. Make your way back up. Step back down, release back into your yoga squat. Hands to the floor, lift the seat, separate your feet about back width, and again, sway out your hips side to side. Back to stillness, walk your right foot in towards center, standing, split, raise your left leg up. Right, so you have many choices here. You can keep your hands slightly forward, you can walk your hands back and push in toward the right leg a little bit more deeply for a deeper right hamstring stretch and more flexibility in your standing split. Or take the hands to the ankles, balancing there. And finally, those of you taking hand standing, go ahead and be on the second side. Wherever you are in this process, start to finish up the seated spinal twist. Left knee behind the right heel, and take the seat down. Right arm behind you, left arm up, and twist. All right, those of you taking your Kundinasana one, Back down, back to center on the inhale. Exhale, counter twist to the left. And then you stay here or on the answer in two.
Back to center. Step the right foot forward. Half moon. Lunge is steady. Chopasana. Same hand, same foot. Binding of both hands to the left foot. Make sure you continue to stack the left side of your right. It is a half moon shape. Then begin to break. Step it back, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. And forward into your plank. Lower all the way down. Left cheek down. Arms out to a T. Bend your right knee. Lift the right flag. Drop the right foot back behind you. So either your right toes just touching down. If you have a little bit less range and it's difficult to touch your foot down, walk it closer toward the left leg. Right? By walking it uh, closer, you're requiring less uh, twist and hip opening, right? So it's easier for you to stabilize with the right foot. However, if you have a little bit more range, step the left foot further back. If you have even more range, try to ground the right foot down and rotate the right knee toward the sky to open. Alright, square back to center. Right cheek down, looking to the left fingertip. Bend your left knee, lift the left side. Drop the left foot back behind you. So again, if you don't have a lot of mobility here, your foot is closer, left foot is closer to the right leg. If you have more, walk it further back. If you have even more, ground the left heel. And everyone, think about rotating the left knee up toward the sky and slightly behind you. And that will force, um, require actually, more mobility and flexibility. And break, take it back to center, walk it back to child's pose. Five breaths in child's pose, or any inversion of choice. Bend the knee, 
knees. Walk or jump your feet forward. You can take handstands as well. Feet together, knees together. Take it up, chair. Stepping on the right foot, pick up the left knee. Right hand to left knee, all outside the foot. Extend. Make sure that left leg is aligned with the hip. Left arm reaching back to twist. All right, let's start to finish up. Walk your hands back in, tuck the back toes, and then press it back to your down dog. And take lots of movement, walking it out side to side. All right, once you have even things out a little bit, second side, right leg right up. Right knee in toward the nose. Line the shin to the floor. Angle out the right knee, right thigh, 40, 30 to 45 degrees to the right side. 
Inch your left knee further back to lower your seat. Sit up tall. Make sure you're nice and even, nice and balanced. And then make your way forward. Taking your variations as you did on the first side. So it's just kind of playing with this thing, I don't know what it is. It's like a, right, this kneeling. Uh, forearm, Vishwamitrasana. Right, so I think, take the left shoulder underneath the knee and take the forearm down.
Begin to reconnect to the breath. Moving the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. And then rolling over to the right side, come up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Reconnecting to an even seat, lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Um. Hands together and pray. Bowing forward, ceiling and practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for your time and to practice with me. Uh, please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment, and my handle is Yoga Lab, and the four digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for it. Classes are $10. If you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. So I'm streaming on Instagram and Facebook, and then you can also find all the videos on my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. Um, YouTube is my best uh, platform. The audio and video is superb on there. So um, if you're not actually streaming with me, it is actually better for you to go to YouTube. All right, so thank you again. Be well, take care. I will see you soon.